The G4 disaster just keeps getting worse. When hosts stop attacking viewers, another starts to keep ruining their image. Their vice president told gamers, don't watch us if you're offended by Frost's stunning and brave industry rant. We saw only a few days ago G4 announce a major restructure, and when you think nothing else is going to happen, something else does because G4 decided to use Amaranth in a bikini on one of their shows to drum up some attention, which was the very thing Frost ranted about previously happening with old G4. I have a bunch to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or supporting the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So, I'm sure you all know about the initial situation with G4, but I just quickly wanted to recap it through this article. It says, according to G4's X-Play and Boosted host, Indiana Black, and by the way, they decided to cancel Boosted, the various instances of pushback and disagreement she has received during her time on the network are not only the result of sexism in gaming, but also, as she herself puts it, the apparent fact that she is not not as bangable as the previous hosts. She went on this rant about how people were objectifying Olivia Munn and Morgan Webb and how it is ridiculous that you would do that because it doesn't matter how attractive they are, they don't exist to be easy on the eyes for you. She had said, It has somehow been expected that you can talk about how much you jerked off to women as a compliment. It's not a compliment. It's dehumanizing, and it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb and Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Now, I've talked about the G4 situation in a couple of other videos, but they were hired to do skits that were sometimes pretty sexual. They would do sexual skits, make sexual jokes and references. It's what the audience wanted to see, and they were being paid to do it, so it really shouldn't have mattered. They made a bunch of money from doing it. They definitely profited off of it. But this was her whole rant, that it's dehumanizing, it's not a compliment, women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. And hilariously enough, it seems like G4 has 180'd with the stance because they promoted this rant that Frost went on. They were saying it's great that she did this, speak up. But if you look on G4's channel, there's a section called In Case You Missed It where they have all of their channel's content put into one playlist. Attack of the Show is here, X-Play, and also Austin Show on G4. And on the Austin Show channel, there is a two-hour-long live stream that was done, that was reposted, that features Amaranth in a bikini. Now, I'm not going to show any clips from this because it would be my luck that YouTube would age restrict my video, but not their live stream. But as you can see, Amaranth is in this pool. She's playing with balls. As you can see, clearly the sexual jokes are here for the making. Now, this wasn't posted to the main X Player G4 channels, like I pointed out, but it was posted to a channel that is specifically a G4 official show. So if they want to try to say, oh, well, he decides what content goes on his own channel, they can try, but but it still looks terrible for them because they let Frost go on this unhinged rant about Olivia Munn and Morgan Webb and how they were dressed in their skits from years ago, yet now they're doing basically the same thing just with relevant creators. And I'd also like to add, I have nothing against Amaranth and the way that she dresses and the content that she makes. If they want to hire her to do skits in a bikini, I don't have a problem with that. My problem here is the way that they look like massive hypocrites. People at this point, though, are laughing in the faces of G4. People are saying things like, truly a gamer moment. This was actually good. I'm glad G4 is ignoring Frost and bringing back the filthy. Know your audience and commit to it. People are joking. Talk to him, Frost. This is 
uh, freaking amazing. Oh, the irony. I thought we were all sexist and G4 was not about women in bikinis. Well, they've changed their tune a little bit and now we see what they're doing. So you support objectifying women after all. Interesting and noted. I mean, it's all good with me, but a bit hypocritical, no? I think that this is absolutely hilarious, and of course, maybe they just see that this Frosk approach isn't going to work, it's not going to get them more viewers, because this video from January 12th has 222,000 views with 4.4k likes in 40 thousand dislikes they got absolutely roasted over releasing this over what frosk says in this video it's no surprise to see that they're doing a 180 with their content but it makes them look like hypocrites I wanted to read just a couple of the comments. People are saying things like, I gotta congratulate you guys on your ability to bring back the audience that supported you for years when gaming uh, was still considered a taboo and immediately lose them all once your little social justice warrior told everyone that if we don't like it, don't watch it. Well, look how that turned out for Kelly Sue. G4 relaunch is D-O-A. People are commenting things like if you don't like it don't watch it peace that's exactly what I'll do for someone who claims she wasn't angry you can see the actual tears in her eyes right at the end I wish there was still a dislike counter just for this video but there are add-ons so that you can still see the dislikes so we can still see them getting ratioed Olivia Munn was not there to please your eyes. Also, Olivia Munn goes on multiple modeling magazines in swimsuits so people will look at her body with their eyes. This is so funny to me because she didn't ever have any problems with creating the skits she did for getting paid to do the acting that she did. So she never really cared that people were, quote, objectifying her. So why should she care now? She made a bunch of money from it. She gained a lot of notoriety for it. Why should you be offended for her? That was some grade A tired, self-indulgent, step on others to raise yourself up and alienate your viewers rant. And if she actually surprised the rest with this rant without clearing it with the others, that just speaks even more to how selfish she really is, spewing her rabid personal views and skewed takes and potentially pulling the rest down with her if it damages the platform, and obviously, she already did that. I have been surprised with the G4 situation. I thought after this rant and after a couple of statements from hosts everything would die down with g4 but it's only gotten worse for them and now they've announced this big restructure and they're putting up content like this again if this is the type of content they want to make go for it it's the type of content that made people originally love g4 but at the same time it makes them look like massive hypocrites now but that's all that i really had to discuss in this video let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you enjoyed it please Please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but that's all that I had to talk about. So I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.